during the McCarthy era, Bob was playing in Wisconsin, at any rate. Uh, he was doing the um, uh, state fair, I think, and he called Mort Lockman, who was his top writer at the time, and said, Mort, uh, uh, I'm running out of stuff here. He says, uh, wake the fellows up, and I need some uh, new material. I'm going to try it out tomorrow. Get it to me right away. And Mort said, wait a minute, I got a whole bunch of jokes you didn't take with you, and I can give them to you right away. And uh, Bob said, what are they? And uh, Moore said, well, these are all jokes about McCarthy. Bob said, what? He said, you want me to wind up in jail? This is the Wisconsin State Fair. He's from Wisconsin. If I do those jokes, I'll wind up in jail. And, uh, and Moore said, well, you can tell jokes in jail. You know, go ahead. So Bob said, forget it. And Moore shipped him out the jokes. I don't know how they did it. And um, didn't hear from him. The next day, he gets a call from Bob. He says, get me some McCarthy jokes. I he, he, said, what's happening? He says, I was running short. I slipped in a couple, and the place broke up. And, you know, one of the jokes was that uh, uh, McCarthy says he now has the names of a million more communists. Somebody gave him the Moscow telephone book. And uh, so that happened. It was the emperor's new clothes. Once they started laughing at McCarthy, that was the beginning of the end. And it was because the audience showed him where it was that Bob then concentrated, concentrated on it, and along came uh, Ed Murrow with that famous broadcast, and Mr. McCarthy was a dead duck after that, and humor and an audience had done it to him. Well, if there had been a laugh machine, there would never have been a McCarthy joke on the radio.